Angelo Bruno was the boss of the Philadelphia crime family for around 20 years and was known as the Gentle Don due to his reputation as preferring dialogue and resolution over violence and murder. Bruno was born in Sicily and immigrated to the US during his teenage years. He was a close friend of the boss of the Gambino crime family, Carlo Gambino. Bruno married and had two children. He had shares and ownership of hotels, an extermination company and an aluminium products company. Arrests in his name included reckless driving, illegal gambling, receiving stolen property and firearms violations. His nickname, The Gentle Don, was earned through his refusal over murdering rival mobster Antonio Polina. In the 1950s, after Joseph Ida, boss of the Philadelphia crime family at the time, was deported, the two were the frontrunners to replace him as the boss of the family. Aided by his connection with his associate Carlo Gambino, Bruno gained the approval of the New York Mafia Commission in 1959 to become the boss of the family. Bruno Spella's boss would be one of the most successful of any mobster in American history. He ruled for 20 prosperous years, a time period during which he would avoid media scrutiny and the watchful eye of the law, where other families would experience infighting and have senior members serve lengthy jail time. Bruno's tenure as boss was relatively peaceful for his family, and the longest jail time he ever served was two years for refusing to testify in front of a grand jury. He was known for avoiding brutality, intimidation and murder, which was rampant in La Cosa Nostra, and instead preferred to operate through bribery. An example of his preference against violence was by banishing Nicky Scarfo, one of the most vicious gangsters in American history, to Atlantic City. Little Nicky was said to be so cold-blooded that he would kill a man just for staring at him. Naturally, he did not fit in with Bruno's style so the latter sent him to oversee operations in the then work in progress Atlantic City. Bruno was traditional and old school in the sense that his preferred method of income were things like loan sharking and bookmaking, forbidding his family to engage in narcotics trafficking. He did however allow other gangs to perform drug deals in his territory so long as he got a share of the profit, a deal which caused a few raised eyebrows within his family as there were those who were angry that they could not make money from this growing business. During his later years, gambling had become legalised in Atlantic City, and the gambling scene as a result began to boom. Despite the area always being considered part of the Philadelphia crime family's turf, the five major New York crime families thought the business was too lucrative for one family to keep a hold of. The laws of La Cosa Nostra dictated that the families could not set up operations in Atlantic City without Bruno's permission. But he knew that the five families were far more powerful than his was, and if they wanted to, they could completely end his family by killing all members and associates. Thus, Angelo Bruno granted the family's permission to operate in Atlantic City as long as he got his share, a decision which did not go down well with some of his subordinates. When Bruno was in his late 60s, several parties within his own family conspired to betray him. The aging Don, 69 at the time, was killed on March the 21st, 1980, as he sat in his car just outside his home. The method of murder was a shotgun blast to the back of the head and was thought to be carried out by Bruno's own consigliere, Antonio Caponegro, or Tony Bananas as he was also known. This would begin a chain of bloody murders. Just a few weeks later, Bananas' body was found in the boot of a car, stuffed inside a body bag with money shoved into his mouth and anus, a symbol of his greed. It is thought that the commission had ordered his murder because his killing of Bruno had not been sanctioned. In addition, others who conspired against Bruno and played a part in his death were found out and also killed. The new boss of the family was Philip Tester, but he was then murdered with a nail bomb under his front porch outside his home, which is thought to have been carried out by his underboss, Peter Casella. Casella feared for his own life after suspicion was raised against him, and he was driven out by the man Angelo Bruno had banished from Philadelphia all those years ago, the cruel and unhinged Nicky Scarfo. Scarfo killed others who were thought to have played a part in Tester's murder and assumed his position as the new boss of the Philadelphia crime family. However, the chaos did not end there, as the family would be plagued further into a downward spiral by more infighting, indictments, and the eventual prosecution of little Nicky Scarfo. Angelo Bruno would be played by Harvey Keitel in The Irishman, working with Martin Scorsese for the first time since 1988. His main role in the movie will come as an associate of the movie's main character, the mob hitman Frank Sheeran. Thanks for watching.